Hey everyone, how's it going? I hope everything in your life is going well. Um, I am starting a new series called Digital Nomad Overlander. It's not really new. I actually started it a while back, but um, things have evolved and I haven't really done any videos within that playlist. Super blown out, super sunny. We're gonna go out there in just a second. But um, really investing a lot of time and energy and money into figuring out the best setups for traveling long-term, like several weeks or up to a month or two at a time, while being able to experience like off-grid camping as much as possible, but also being productive with work. So this is kind of that, you know, evolution. Um, I have previous videos over the last couple of years of working uh, using a gazelle, a gazelle uh, tent as kind of like a mobile office and the setups for all of that. So this is kind of the next evolution of that. Uh, so I'm gonna step outside, it's really bright. I'm gonna try to adjust my ND filter really quickly so it doesn't blow out too much. Um, but if you can see behind me this big blue box, <laughs> um, let me kind of just dial that back, there we go. So this is the um, uh, Mission Overland Summit. Uh, this is an Overland trailer, so it's got skid plates, it's big tires and uh, independent suspension, so there's no axle. It's got a big water tank, it pops up, it's pretty um, like, multi-use kind of so you could use it to sleep in you could also use it to eat and work in which is really important to me it has a 270 degree awning um this is not a review of this particular trailer right now i'm just kind of giving you a few pieces of information that you know kind of lead you to why this is something that uh i would kind of be using instead of a gazelle tent gazelle tent is great so uh we're going to take this out for a couple days just for kind of more leisure and for some more experimenting already did a four-day um, camping trip in it up in the San Isabel National Forest and it did really well on the Rainbow Falls Trail off-roading in a lot of mud. We got like three inches of rain over the course of four days and it got super muddy but uh, it did incredibly well. No issues whatsoever. So I've been really happy so far um, and I'm hoping uh, to be working with some other brands in the industry to at least tour or try out some of their trailers and do some comparisons because there are a lot of different cool trailer companies out there and there's several that I like. Uh, this won't be the first and last uh, trailer that I have. So stick around if you're into that stuff. The next thing is communication So and power, right? So for, for this particular trip, we're only going for three days. Um, I've got a couple of solar generators with solar panels that are already in the truck. So we'll be talking about those. We've got the Go Zero 400 and 1500X. We've got the Starlink dish and some other gear, lights. And then I also have a 140 watt ZAMP solar uh, panel for the trailer. That'll keep the two 100 amp hour AGM, uh, AGM batteries topped up as long as we have the sun like we're having today. So not too worried about it. Uh, the Tacoma has had a few changes as well. So subscribe if you are into off-roading and Tacomas and all that stuff. Um, if you just are really into the digital nomad, uh, like teleworker, you know, a remote worker kind of person, I'm gonna be putting these videos into their own playlist. So if you want, you can just watch that playlist um, as I make videos on other stuff too. So if that doesn't interest you, I totally understand. But I will be doing in-depth review, probably a couple videos, in-depth review and like modifications, things I wish that were different and then what I like and what I don't like about the Mission Overland Summit. So stick around for all of that. We're gonna go ahead and pack up, get out of here, set up camp, enjoy uh, the Arkansas River for the next couple days. But I do plan to get quite a bit of work done and uh, I'll be talking about hotspots and Starlink and power and all that stuff. So maybe not packed all into this video, but as much as I can, but I will be putting it into this playlist. So stick around. All right, so we got the trailer set up behind me and about to fire up some uh, internet so we can get a little bit of work done before we get to thoroughly enjoy uh, camping. But just do a little bit of a preview here. At the 270 degree awning and that's coming in clutch got the poles out for stability and then here we have the Dometic two burner stove and sink with a 37 gallon water tank and the Truma 75 liter refrigerator 
It does have a shower on the other side, but uh, we'll get to that later. All right, so we got a camp more set up. I'll do a little bit of a uh, little bit of a walk around with you, if you will. Uh, so we have the awning out. Got to guide out because we've had some pretty good wind so far being here. Uh, stove and sink are set up. Got the Truma 75 liter fridge freezer combo. Got my Goal Zero panels out. Uh, one just laying across the front. That's the Nomad 100 and the Boulder 100 briefcase. Um, and I just have the extensions for those going into the Goal Zero 1500X. Uh, this is pretty cool. We got the front runner silverware set here. And I'm gonna car driving by. Uh, they actually just latch right into the straps that hold the awning down, or you know, when it's folded in. So that's actually really convenient. Um, that works out really well. Happy about that. And then I got the Starlink uh, Wi Fi router, a speaker, of course, and some chairs. And then I have um, basically, we got this big mat from Walmart kind of covers everything up and this is the line for the Starlink antenna which is sitting up on top of the truck so currently getting about 80 to 90 megabytes per second down so digging that and my wife is over here putting up some decorations for the campsite I'll show you a little bit of the inside right now. It's a little bit messy. It's uh, in bed mode, if you will. I bumped the camera. Um, but uh, essentially, that's the table and that's the arm for it down there. So when we want to, we just remove this middle cushion, push everything towards the front, and then that becomes the table stand. And then we got cushions on both sides. This is all storage inside. And there are three outlets for heat. Uh, we've got cubbies junk one pantry uh, this is the fuse box control panel for everything over here and the Truma control as well uh, so there's storage here here and also in the center so in the center uh, there's another big compartment and we'll go into that uh, in another video but we keep our geyser shower and floor and stuff in there and then on this side coffee stuff water stuff we have a fire extinguisher in there and then more cubbies which is like kind of a uh, cleaning and paper goods and all that fun stuff and then up top is kind of a bigger pantry coffee and chips and all sorts of stuff and of course the piece last line of defense holster there uh, so it does have the max fan this whole pop top pops up and there is a remote control. We're sat right there with a wireless control. And then up front, there are reading lights, one on either side. And you can tap it for like a dim light, tap it again for like a brighter light. Um, so that's pretty slick. These windows can open up for ventilation. So they're Velcro with net netting. Uh, uh, it's actually like a plastic window on the back side to let in more light and then you can undo that one and have more more airflow on this side um, this is the exhaust for the Truma heater water fill 30 amp shore power hookup uh, and then on this side as well this is where the uh, shower hookup is so this plugs in there it does have hot water um, hoses and everything in there and then over here is where the two 100 amp hour AGM batteries are and these are um, gonna be upgraded eventually we'll probably do the battle born with the ion uh, batteries some other storage in here as well and a 10 pound propane tank on the front so yeah so we're gonna Hang out for a bit, play some music, and chill out. So, 
kind of want to do a little walk around, expecting maybe some wind, maybe some rain, uh, potentially this evening. So we're kind of got everything tied down, hunkered down, but uh, normally I wouldn't guide out this serious. Um, but Colorado, you never know what to expect. So <laughs> got a fold up trash can over here, the 30 gallon bag in there. It's uh, just a, uh, I think I got that at Walmart or yeah, Walmart I think is the trash can where I got that from. GCI, we got the new rockers. They're a little bit smaller, a little bit lighter. I've talked about those in the past on previous videos. I really like those because I like to rock. <laughs> Who doesn't like to rock? And yeah, so got the Goal Zero lights hanging up. These uh, all tie in to the 12 volt um, input over here. We've got one on an extension. And yeah, so I'm just gonna kind of chill out for a little bit. The wind's picking up and check in with you later. All right, day two of camping. Something else we're trying out today for the first time is our geyser shower system. And I have the CVT tent, water shower tent off the side of the truck. I've done a video on that previously. Not a huge fan of it, but it works okay. So the geyser system works off of a 12 volt connection. And essentially what you do is you fill this water, this uh, water tube here with water. It's got a pump and a heater. And then this hose, which just plugs it in here. And it's kind of like a sponge bath, but it's actually quite pleasant. Uh, I just took one, I feel really good. It's nice to be able to take a shower, especially in the summertime when it's real hot. However, the heater's not working. So this is a test for, uh, geyser customer support because i called and left them a voicemail today and also sent them an email so i don't know maybe there's maybe there's a problem with the heater dog is doing some funny stuff on the ground what are you doing phoebe what are you doing you scratching your back yeah this is turning into a a canine porno over here all right so uh anyway the wife's gonna give it a shot so we can both get clean the shower part works okay, but the heater's not working, so we'll see how well the customer service is. <laughs> okay, so inside of the camper, I'm gonna turn the lights on for now. Got it in uh, kind of work mode, as you can see. So the top, the top is the max fan. So it's about six foot four at the highest point, then it kind of slopes down. So. That makes it convenient for standing and changing clothes and all that. And then this table's on a big swivel, so you can kind of spin it sideways, turn it around. You can move it, you know, left to right, pretty much wherever, wherever you want it. So that works out pretty nice. And then the benches, of course, these are basically like four inch foam mattresses. The bed is really, really comfortable. I'm loving that. These are the interior light switch. And this is for exterior, There's some exterior lights. This is for the water pump. We've got the Truma. It has uh, internal heat and hot water. It's three different modes, eco, hot, boost. I just leave it on eco, it works pretty well. You can select whether or not you wanna use a mixture of gas or, pro or uh, electric. We just use it on gas and ventilation. Uh, which is really only necessary for like if you're running heat uh, how Much airflow is coming through at any given moment um, As you can see the Sun's been on this side of the camper, so we've kind of 
left it closed a little bit, but we did open the windows for some additional airflow up top. And the Max fan does a really good job of keeping the temperature in here. Let's see what the temperature is right now. Uh, so currently, well, it says it's 97 in here, but it's definitely not 97. Um, it's probably about 80 in here because the high today is only 84. Um, so I don't know how much stock to put into that thermostat and the remote control, but it's pretty temperate, pretty comfortable. It's working for a few hours in here this morning. So uh, we picked up this little wagon from Walmart because we're going to take a trip down to the river. And we wanted something easy to load up all of our stuff and towels. It has a little tailgate that you can flip down. Not sure where the dog went. Baby. So, yeah, we're going to take a little trip down down there and uh, maybe float around. Nope. <laughs> so, yeah. So far, it's pretty working out pretty well. Uh, only issues we've had so far with the geyser shower, which I just mentioned. And uh, hopefully their support gets back to us. I kind of think it's faulty because it also tends to stop the pump, even though there's a third left of water in the tank. But um, let's see if we can get a little shot of the river through the trees. Might be able to see it down there. Yeah. Yeah. So that's where we're going to be heading down that way. But we're actually going to head over to the boat ramp. It'd be a little bit easier to get in have some fun either i'm an idiot on youtube <laughs> i'm usually just talking out the side of my mouth it's the arkansas river and there's a lot of not not many as many today but right next to us is a boat dock so a lot of the people that are uh river rafting this is an exit point for a lot of them getting out here and then some people taking off, but uh, water's moving pretty fast today. Taco time. Time to make the tacos. My favorite. Actually, I'm even wearing a t-shirt. It says, peace, love, and tacos. So, I guess that's pretty fitting. Are you getting ready to get up and come out? Yeah? Hey Phoebe, you wanna come out? I'm bringing you out this way. Oh, I'm watching mom through the window. Getting that meat ready. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You gonna get that meat ready for some tacos? Yeah, girl. So what kind of secret ingredients are you putting in these delicious, scrumptious, Beef tacos. Um, Fritos? Wait, Fritos? Fritos? Fritos go in the tacos? Fritos? Uh, I'm confused. We're gonna have Frito tacos? Or? That's an option. Oh, but we're gonna have regular tacos too. Here, you can have regular tacos. Oh, thank God. That's what I love. That's what this body needs. That's how I keep this body looking so good. Her. Sure. Okay. Okay, see you later. <laughs> oh, yeah. The secret ingredient oil paso taco seasoning. <laughs> <laughs> We're keeping it real authentic around here, you know? Does make it taste really good, though. fell over. So you said it's ready already? Yep. All right. Look at that taco meat looking good. Even the tortillas are warm. Bread with lettuce. Got the cheese. Got the habanero sauce and some salsa. You want to make one at a time? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm going to go ahead and make this taco up. It's going to be real good. Let me know in the comments what your favorite camp meal is because it's definitely mine. It's tacos. For sure. What about yours? Spaghetti. Yeah, you like spaghetti. <laughs> All right, gonna tear it up. Oh yeah. 
I mean, I like salsa a lot, but I love this on my tacos. Mmm, tasty taco you are. In my mouth you will go. Crazy abrupt transition from eating tacos at the campsite to me back in the garage. For some reason, the video clips that I recorded after that weren't on my, on my memory card. I'm not sure what happened. So we're obviously back <laughs> it's a couple days later and um, I'm getting ready to go out again this weekend for our Royal Palooza shoot, uh, which is an annual shooting event that uh, me and my brother do down at the ranch. So I'll be camping in the camper. So uh, hit the subscribe button if you wanna see that. That should probably be out in the next week and a half or so. Um, I'm gonna be doing reviews on a lot of the gear that I use in addition to more video review of the Mission Overland Summit. There's a few things that I wish were different, but overall, liking the uh, the camper so far. Geyser, they just sent me out another replacement. As you saw, uh, as I mentioned in the video, the heater element wasn't working. So that's the replacement there. I'll be sending that one back. Hopefully that works. So I'm gonna test that out here shortly. Um, and once I know it's all working, I'll do a review of, of that uh, particular product and how I use it, what floor I have, um, all that fun stuff. So look for upcoming content for gear, solar panel, solar generator, uh, everything I use and also use for the digital Nomad Overland office setup. All those particular different things I think might be helpful uh, for other people who are looking to work remote or just have connectivity and power. Um, I know a lot of us go off grid to be disconnected, but if you need to work while you're off grid, then um, hopefully some of these things and lessons I've learned and products might uh, assist you. So thanks for watching. Sorry for again for the abrupt transition <laughs> from the taco eating to now, but uh, sometimes it's just the way it works out. So uh, thanks for watching. Follow me on Instagram. Hit me up in the comments if you have any questions and I will catch you in the next video. Take care.